The human brain is the control center of our mind and body, helping us to make decisions, process information and take action. And there is still so much we don't know about it. Hi, I'm Valeria. And I'm Ina. And here at the Cognitive Neuroscience Laboratory at the University of South Australia, we're using these portable EEGs to help us to learn more about this amazing organ. An EEG, or electroencephalogram, is a device with small electrodes, or small disks that conduct electricity. We stick these to your scalp to detect electrical signals in the brain. These electrical signals pass through your brain and body, carrying messages from cell to cell. So knowing how to read and understand these electrical signals can tell us a lot about how the brain functions. And it can also tell us about abnormal brain function, which is associated with some medical conditions. But the problem is, traditional EEGs need to be done in a laboratory setting, and the participant needs to be completely still, which can be difficult for lots of people, especially children. And it's a bit artificial, because people aren't performing their natural movement. But this portable EEG is changing the way we study the brain. So how does it work? Well, this device combines a traditional EEG with an accelerometer, which shows us when a person is moving. This can help us to understand EEG signals that are caused by movement, so we know which signals to pay attention to and which ones to ignore. To test our participants, we get them to do everyday tasks, such as navigating through naturalistic environments. But it is not as simple as it sounds. We give them a set of earphones attached to a laptop and they have to listen out for a certain sound in a sea of other sounds and count how many times it occurs. At the same time, they also have to follow directions and navigate their way through the environment while avoiding obstacles. Here we are testing how their attention shifts based on where they need to go and the sounds they are listening to. The information from the laptop and the accelerometer show us where their attention was. Then we can use this data along with the EEG results to see how attentional and decision-making processes were made in the brain. While the study is still ongoing, there are a lot of things that we've already learned about how humans control attention and their decision-making processes as they act in naturalistic environments. While we like to believe we can multitask, there isn't a way for the brain to actually do two things at once. What you're doing is actually changing from one activity to the other rapidly. This is why things like texting while getting from A to B can be very dangerous, because when you're texting, you're not paying attention to what else is going on. There's still so much we don't know about how the brain processes information and allows us to act within our environments. But with this wearable EEG, we're a lot closer to find out more.